What's good everybody, this is Van Glorious and I am proud to say that we have a review for a shoe I've been waiting for a very long, long, long time. So this is the Yeezy 350 V2 Zion. I'm gonna jump right into this one. It's gonna be real quick and simple cause you know, just how much I've been talking about them. Let's go. So to me, this is probably one of the most anticipated colorways of this year, aside from many restocks that are gonna potentially happen. I know a lot of people were talking about these. Of course, the weekend that they came out, I was taking L's left and right. I didn't win the raffle, no luck on Yeezy supply. All the foot sites seem to be trash bags for the most part. So I ended up having a not so great copying weekend. And I actually just picked these up the other day. Um, had a little connect from South Jersey. So I was able to shoot down there, pick up a pair and um, yeah, they're, they're here as you can see. So I was super happy to do this because you know, resale is crazy for them right now. At least in my size, resale is somewhere between 350 to $400. Uh, sometimes even more than that. Uh, so it's it was a relief that I was able to get it at a good price and I was able to get it locally so I didn't have to travel to too far to get these um, so yeah it's it's really helped out a lot and I've been waiting for this shoe for two months so anybody that knows me or anybody that knows how much I've been waiting to cop these uh, knows that this was a big deal for me so very happy to have these in my possession right now and I'm gonna give you an up close look of what they look like with um, like a pair of like maybe army green pants. I would say um, it shouldn't be too hard to match things with this mainly because it's just you know a chocolate color or some may say this looks black but it's not it's actually brown. Um, you have your tan in here and then you have this um, different colored type of green. It's pretty cool though I mean honestly you could rock fatigues with these. It kind of looks like it goes with that color scheme but you know blue goes with brown you know so you can match your denims you can match your joggers um they remind me of turtle doves just like a lot of people have said so i mean honestly this is a really versatile primate pattern and you can see on the medial side that it's blocked differently um the isra fills are also going to be like this as well with the primate pattern on the medial side and then on the exterior side you're going to see a similar pattern as well so maybe it's a change for them maybe this is signifying the end of the v2 um uh silhouette so who knows we'll see but enjoy some b-roll of what the shoe looks like and yeah let me know what you think Funny enough, this is actually my 16th pair of Yeezy, so this is a really cool surprise to find out that this made the cut for number 16, especially since I've been really anticipating this shoe, so this is very awesome for me. Outside of that, I really don't have anything else to show. You already know the silhouette, you know how much I felt about the colorway, and I'd love for you guys, like, comment, subscribe. Please leave me some comments underneath. Subscribe if you haven't. If you're just lurking, just you might as well subscribe. I'm also curious to figure out how many of you took W's the weekend that dropped. I'm really curious. And did you manually cop or did you use a bot? Because that plays a huge role in how you got your pair. I'm manual gang until I buy a bot. I'm gonna just be honest. So this was a super, super, super struggle over the weekend. And spending three to four hours to get nothing yeah, that's a heartbreaker. 
So definitely let me know, did you cop or did you not cop this weekend? And how hard was it if you were manual gang? If you were using a bot, tell me how easy it was. How many pairs did you get? I'm super curious. I really want to know. Leave a comment down below. See you guys in the next video. Take care. Later.